Hello there, everybody. I cannot even begin to tell you how excited I am to play this game. It's time for a quantic dream. Oh my god, David Cage. David Cage is a mad genius. And I can't wait to see what this game is Hello. about. Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. What? Before we begin, Let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. Get the fuck out. <laughs> These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? I don't know anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> I was going to say David Cage is a mad genius. And he is. He's an insane person that made a game where an android is talking to me like I'm in Westworld and shit is about to get crazy. Hashtag, I hope demons are at the end of this game, because that is the fate of all David Cage games. Let's do medium subtitles. Oh, uh, yeah, medium for the people in the back row. Keep, yeah. Please adjust your screen settings. Whoa. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, this is fine, I think. Thank you. Now select your profile. What is... Casual experienced. I want immersive gameplay with advanced controls. A fair challenge where mistakes can mean losing a character or fewer chances to lose a character. I mean, we should do experienced, right? I have no idea what. Oh my god. Um, for those of you who watched me play Beyond Two Souls, I loved that game. I loved Fahrenheit. Omicron's amazing. Uh, Heavy Rain is amazing. Look, they're all insane games. I love these types of games, and I love David Cage, even though I hear he is a notorious asshole. <laughs> it makes me love him even more. Let's do this. Yes. When this sign is displayed, please do not turn off your console. You are now ready to begin to try. This is insane. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. What? The hell? I did not expect that to start that way. Okay. 2038? I wish there were hot androids in 2038. Oh, is this the demo? Man, I know exactly what to do here. I played this demo about 12 million times. Here we go. I have played this intro bit a bunch, and every single time I missed this. This poor fish. I feel like, so Connor, this character, I feel like I should be playing him as an empathetic guy who gets the job done though, right? He's different from those other droids. Not me, though. I miss that damn fish every time. It wasn't until looking back later that I realized <laughs> that I ignored that fish. Oh, also, I guess I can look at it now. So we have gunshots. Oh, the fish are doing okay. This is the family. John Phillips. Carolyn Phillips and Emma Phillips. Emma's the hostage, Carolyn is the woman crying, and John is super dead. I told you, I know what I'm doing for this part. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Because no one can get it done like me, lady. I'm about to save her goddamn life. Alright, so I have to find the captain. And, uh, just to show you. Sort of like, scan the objectives, figure out what there is to do. Sir. 
How's it going? Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Deviant's behavior. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. What about the deactivation code? Have you tried its deactivation code? It's the first thing we tried. Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Damn. Every second counts. Well, if that's the case, the first thing you have to do, as you can see, understand what happened, save the hostages. Those are my two big things, and each one of them has sub-sections that I need to finish in order to complete the overall objective. So the first thing, come over here, analyze this gun. It was a gun at one point, but not no more because it was taken and so were some bullets. And then my favorite part of this game is we reconstruct the scene. That's that's me speeding up time. That's me speeding up time with my tongue, is what that is. So we took the gun, and then, uh... Alright. 50% chance of success. Okay, understand what happened. Search hostage's room. Her room's right back there, and I'll do that in a sec. But first... The dad was shot, not once, not twice, Ooh, right in the gut, or lower lung, and, but thrice, right in the kidney, damn, he is very, very dead. And now we learn what happened, because we're going to reconstruct. Before he flew across the room like that, he was reading something. And then, he shot him. Bop! Oh my god, three times. There goes the thing I need. And we're gonna get a big clue on why this android went crazy. Knew he was getting replaced, which is strange, because why would an android be worried about that, right? Oh, God. Holy shit. Cover me while I patch you. Man down. Man down. Requesting immediate evac. All right, let's come over here. I've never... Can I look in this bathroom? Have I done this before? Oh, I certainly can try. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's an immaculate bathroom. I would shower and or poop in there. Now the daughter's room. This is the biggest clue. I think at least. It isn't just the name that's important there. It's the fact that she tells him we're always going to be together, and then he sees that he's being replaced. He blames her because she lied to him. Okay, I believe... The next victim is this police officer right over here. There's a trail of blood that leads right over to this guy. So this dude took a shot right to the chest. Oof. And 
then he was the first responder. He died just a little bit ago. At the time, he definitely had a gun. Let's reconstruct this. Up he goes. Ooh. But at the time, there was someone else with him. The girl. She watched him get shot. But he did manage to shoot the Deviant. Yep, that's him walking in the room. And then he got shot himself, and his gun flew over there. Right there. Now I got myself a gun. Hell yeah, I'm taking this. So you can see, the world is sort of run by this android phenomenon. But this, this is unique. As I'm sure you'll find out right now. Don't stand there. Times are definitely changing. We're going to turn off this, because it's the polite thing to do. I'm an empathetic android. That's what I'm going for. And then we can go back this way, I think. Is there anything on the table? I know we can look at that statue, and I think that painting. Both are very cool, but they don't do anything for me. Let's do this. Uh -oh, uh -oh. What are we waiting for? We should take down this asshole. Give me a sec. There's blood. His blood. That's some fresh blue blood right there. He's wounded. He's cornered. And much, I think, like Connor, he feels something. There's something going on in him. Is there anything else that I can do? All right, let's do this thing. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Go, go, go! Hi, Daniel! Now, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. All right, so you see there's a cop over there. Oh, shit. I'm going to try and get to this cop. Yeah, be calm. Uh, empathize, actually. I'm an android, just like you. I know how you're feeling. What difference does it make if you're an android? You're on their side. You can't understand how I'm feeling. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I kill you. Oh shit, ignore his ass. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. <laughs> Cause. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. 
but I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore! <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here! Yeah, except. And I promise you, everything will be fine. Woo! I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. We're not going to die, we're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you, you have my word. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> Damn. to me, Connor. You lied to me. Man gets the job done every time. Hell yeah. I know there's an ending where you can shoot him. I know there's an ending where you get sh There's plenty of endings to this. I wonder if the main game, just like the demo, shows you the path you could have taken? Oh, here's the flowchart. Yeah, okay. Hell yeah. So that's where I got to. And a thank you. Awesome. So I explored the room, searched for clues. Uh, There was something else I could have... SWAT injured... Oh, you know what that is? Eventually, you get to the point where you take so long that, like, he goes nuts and starts shooting at you like crazy. Um, I went for the friendly approach. I saved the wounded cop. I was honest about my gun, but I missed something else. Interesting. And I got close enough to him to make a connection, and that took me to Sniper Shot the Deviant. Huh. So there are... Six total outcomes to that scenario. I've seen, I think, all of them. That's awesome. Oh, can I see the world stats on that? 33% of the world sniper shot him. I can't believe that there's, at the beginning, there's some people that, like, didn't do some things. Wait a minute. Only 75% actually went outside? How's that possible? How did how did 25% of the world not even leave this room? What? Maybe they got that top bit, which is whatever that is. Maybe they were looking around too long and it forced them outside. Fascinating. Most people dismiss the helicopter. Oh, I love stuff like this. Information is the coolest. All right, continue. November 5th, 2038. Oh shit.
This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' home care. Elementary school. Good afternoon. Hi. Can I help? Wow. Yes. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what you how much did you say it costs? Can I ask you a question? Moment, right now, it seems like family is looking for, like, maids and stuff. But how many people you think come in here on the regular, like, Yo, you got any of these I can bang? Now, who you think's in here looking for that? It's absolutely all the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, gardening. That guy right there is who. That guy back there, that's who. So, uh, yeah, I don't care about homework, but can I sleep with one of these things? But it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Uh, see. <laughs> anyway, Any stains you found were there already. Except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Oh shit, from all the promotional stuff and I think tech demo, yeah? Here we go! Nancy Brown is in this? Damn, 2038 has rainbow bridges. They still have all the monuments of Detroit. I'm just a huge fan of the rainbow bridges. Yours today. Oh, they'll all get theirs. Robot revolution, man. Damn, this guy living on the mean streets. Written and directed by David Cage. That's right. Interesting. So I'm not. Yes, yes I think that's enough. I'm not Carl. Let me help. Oh. oh, thank you, dear. Excuse me. There's a magazine here. Excuse me. There's some. There, there, excuse me. There's a magazine. Let's go home and take a bath. Tech addict. Secrets of androids. How Cyberlife designs its androids to coexist with humans. Next. Green Earth. Climate change up. <laughs> so, hold on, I can go page one. Oh. Interesting. So the other one was an entirely... Designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge CyberLife had to overcome. Jason Graff, director of the humanization department at CyberLife, unveiled some of his design secrets in our recent interview. The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expression, and 
We soon realized that there was something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. Cyberlife worked on ways to humanize its machines so that they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. They created androids of both genders and all ethnicities, analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected, though totally unnecessary, along with breathing, facial hair, and many other humanizing traits. This perfect simulation of humanity, down to details that androids simply don't need, is the secret to Cyberlife's design success. All right, and how is the, how the environment is changing America's society? A recent U.S. census has found that as sea levels continue to rise and climate change leads to more and more extreme weather, America's once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. Waterside real estate and once top attractions like Miami and Los Angeles are experiencing fright flight, with wealthy residents opting for properties further inland or at higher altitudes. Oh hell yeah! It's all about Iowa City now, people! I knew buying all that Iowa real estate would pay off. This is driving up prices in once rural areas and plummeting house values in previously desirable neighborhoods. Whilst this might sound like an opportunity for poorer Americans to enjoy a new lifestyle, the reality is less attractive. I said less attractive. What? No. Less. What? No. Fucking technology, man. Less attractive. Less attractive. Is that it? Oh, there we go. Coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes, and other climactic weather. They're also suffering from urban flight, with all the services and amenities following richer customers into new areas. Urban development specialist Arnold Waters calls this the donut effect, whereby the previous centers of coastal cities get hollowed out. This census is just the latest example of how climate change is affecting American societies in ways previously not imagined altering not only the face of our environment, but even the social fabric of our nation. People just leaving their pads around. Excuse me, sir, how are you? What's up? How, how's, how's it going? What's going on? Can I talk to him? No? I guess that's where I need to be, huh? Retrieve order 847, but there's stuff to do along the way, it looks like. Can I... Oh, damn. You have run 12 miles and are five miles away from your goal. <laughs> Roasted. Okay, what about this guy? Hello, sir. How are you? Would you like to talk to me today? No. Oh, human interactions. She went to Matilda. Now I'm going to watch them make out. Can I do this? Can I really do this? Oh, they're just going to hold hands. Gross. Okay. Can I go? No, I can't go that way. Can I go this way even though it said I couldn't? No, shit. I really wanted to. I was gonna try and buck buck my machine programming. Waiting for a green light. Can I come this way? Man, androids! Androids ruin our country! What? Let me I need to have a conversation with you. Excuse me. What about you? Does no one want to talk to me about being an android? Nope, oh, can't go that way. I feel like we could, I feel like we could have a discussion. I like how he hopped along there to get out faster. Use GPS. All right, so I'm going straight, but there's so much to look at. Android temporary parking. Oh my god, that's amazing. The St. Clair Cafe. Get yours today. At the PlayStation Store is what it looks like. A hot dog. Excuse me, I would like one giant hey, wiener. Move it. 
You're scaring away my customers. Okay. Sounds like there's a protest. What about this guy? Excuse me, sir. Will you talk to me? This is supposed to be in base seven. Sure. Sounds good. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. What about you? Androids took his job. No one wants to talk to me. Oh shit. He's our god now. Did he just say Jumanji is our god? Man. Jumanji is our god it now. Is becoming our new master. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. Oh my god, it will you end in demons. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. I feel like it's too late for that, pal. <laughs> Even in 2018. Are evil. Man seeks to imitate God by creating life. But what kind of life is this? A life of plastic and metal? A life with no Ban soul. androids, we want jobs. A pale copy of our creator. The I'm machines are observing us. Like this? They're waiting in the darkness for the right moment. When we start playing Jumanji, and we're all sucked up so into that damn game. Let us lie and wait for blood. What the hell? Let us ambush the innocent without cause. God will not let this happen. No, he will not allow his creation to be led astray by these, these artificial demons. Okay. My brethren. Hashtag Jumon. I swear to God that's what that guy said. Get yours today. What about this guy? Hello? Oh. Can I run? Can I? Uh-oh. That's that. That's that. That's a quick behind me look. Uh, is this a run? Nope. Someone's having a good old laugh. Here's the paints. Right, that's where I need to go. But what's up here? Who's this guy? Will you talk to me? Man, they do not like androids. Okay. I'd help you out, but you don't like me, mister. Um. Okay. Collect package. Can I look around the paints? There's many paints to choose from. My goodness. Connect. Oh, okay. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Uh, sure. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Fascinating. Okay, package collected. Take bus home. over to the fountain. What's over here? Can I watch the protest? Can I get closer to the protesters and watch them? 
Oh, there's a guy playing the guitar. It's not a David Cage game if there isn't an obligatory guitar scene. I'm the guitar man. Playing the best that I can with my human soul. One dollar to hear. Oh, shit, he has his own lyrics. Never mind. Oof, mine were better. Can. Oh no. Hmm? I'm kidding. What are you doing? Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. He's oh, come on now. He can't even stand up. All I All I want All I want to do is see what was going on. Oh, come on. Fuck your bitch ass up. Whoa. Waste it. Do it. All right. That's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. If you damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. You say you like it. Okay. Let's go. One on one. All right. Wow. Uh. We got families to feed, and these androids are taking our place. Can I get a hot dog? I really could use a hot dog. Is there anything else here to look at? Bus stop, not this way. Not to replace us. Can I go back around here? No, nope, I am trapped over here. Okay. Well, I've learned my lesson. I'm not going that way. Can I sneak around here? Maybe I can. No, but it was worth a try. Wait for bus. Town is trouble, man. Whew. There's like a special Android bus section. Fascinating. A little on the nose, but fascinating. Shit, that was a scene? Whoa, okay. Total point 780. What did I miss? Stare at the hot dog vendor. Oh, I could have stared at him longer, probably. Man, all right. Not bad. Not bad at all. I guess the idea is that you can go back and replay these as much as you want. All right, 91% completed on that. Wow, I almost 100% of the thing. My first time through? That's what you get for exploring. I don't know that I ever would have known to keep harassing the hot dog vendor. Although I really wanted a hot dog. So maybe deep down inside, I knew? You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and booze. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and booze. Not a lot of time for video games. Bring the strippers and booze. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, now uh, sing music. It's a professional broadcast. Bring the strippers and booze. Oh, yeah. It's a professional broadcast. 
And here to ask and answer one simple question. It's the Robot Chicken Podcast. 